Welcome, everyone, to Catholic Sunday Scriptures in Context. This is a ministry of the Augustinian Order and St. Paul Parish. Today we focus on the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, January 14 and 15. This little quote sort of helps us put this passage into perspective. To be saints is not a privilege for the few, but a vocation for everyone. So what we read about the life of Jesus in today's scripture readings is not just pertaining to Jesus, but what we are called to do. The first reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, you are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. Is it too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel? I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. So this is from Deutero Isaiah, second Isaiah, and this in particular is part of the second servant song, the suffering servants, which we as Christians interpret as prophecies about God and that God will show his glory through Jesus. And this was for the suffering servant that he was made this way from the womb. It wasn't something that he took on later in his life. And the source of his strength is God. And this phrase here, it is too little to raise up the tribes of Jacob, the survivors of Israel. Jacob and Israel are two names for the same entity, the people of uh, the chosen people, but it is just too little for that. It is all the nations that this suffering servant will unite, raise up, and restore, that the salvation of God may reach to the ends of the earth. Uh, this little picture here about the polished arrow, that comes right after this uh, phrase here, chapter 49 verse 2 at the beginning, that the servant is God's weapon. Uh, it's both an arrow and a sword. Uh, but anyway, in this reading here, we realize that the prophet is called by God and that Yahweh will become the God of all people. Um, the verse that's not chosen here at the beginning, verse 1, is about uh, this prophecy is directed, directed to the people in the coastlands. So the coastlands were a foreign land for the Jewish people. It's where the Philistines lived. And um, it helps us understand that this prophecy is not just for the Jewish people, but for all people. Our second reading is the beginning of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy with all those everywhere who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul is establishing himself as an apostle. There was some contention whether he could be an apostle because he did not witness Jesus on earth, but he claims but by the vision that happened on the road to Damascus that he is qualified to be the apostle of Jesus Christ. And that's why he says, by the will of God. He refers to Sosthenes. It's not clear which Sosthenes there is. There is another Sosthenes mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles, which you'll see on the next slide. That Sosthenes was a Jewish authority in the uh, synagogue in Corinth that sort of defended Paul. So it could be that one, but not really sure. Uh, to the church of God that is in Corinth, the word Paul uses here in Greek is ecclesia, coming from the verb to assemble, to gather. And that's how Paul refers to them, that they are an assembly of God. And to those of you who have been sanctified, that this is an action that has already taken place. So they have already been made Christians and have believed in Jesus. And that they, he reminds them of the mission that they are called to be holy, which is what this, that picture of Pope Francis refers to, with all those everywhere, that this isn't a church just for the people of Corinth, but as the people 
uh, for everywhere uh, that unites them together. And he wishes them grace and peace. And grace is God's favor and peace is complete well-being. Um, so you see that Sosthenes there in Acts 18 and 17. Okay. Lastly, our gospel comes from chapter 1 of John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and have testified that he is the Son of God. So in John's Gospel, there is some definite competition between John the Baptist and Jesus, or maybe between the followers of John the Baptist and the followers of Jesus. And John makes it clear that uh, Jesus is the superior one, the one who ranks ahead of me. And so in this little passage here, John identifies Jesus in four different ways. One as the Lamb of God, one as someone who existed before John did, the third is how the Spirit remains upon him. And lastly, that he is the Son of God. So it is clear in John's Gospel that Jesus came to announce, uh, that John came to announce Jesus to the world. John's Gospel equates Jesus with the suffering servant in Isaiah. Uh, so we mentioned that in this first reading today from Isaiah. And there are other suffering servant hymns that uh, John picks up on all those points and has uh, John the Baptist illustrate them. Um, that is our read. Those are our readings. Please pray for peace in Ukraine. If you think these are helpful to someone, please pass it on. Thank you very much.